In this segment, I want to talk to you about etiquette of croquet. Now, it's a gentleman's game, just like a lot of games are, but there's some, you know, ways to make it nicer and easier to play with each other. And the first part of etiquette is, say we've got two balls here, and uh, it's Black's turn to go first. Well, the blue ball would not want to stand nearby. He'd want to get out of his way and let him have his opportunity to take a look and see where he's going to hit this. He also would want to be quiet. Anybody would be, want to be quiet while somebody is concentrating to hit the ball where they want it to go. Now, also, when you're lining up your shot, if somebody's already down there, you wouldn't want to be standing in their line of sight. That can be very distracting, aiming for something and having somebody either talking or standing there, that can be very distracting. The last thing is, and this is very important, regulation really sticks to this, and you should in a backyard game because it can take a long time. So there's a time limit on everybody's stroke. Um, because you can see we've got some grass here and some undulations and stuff, it's really not all that flat, so the ball may move around. Somebody may want to take their time and kind of take a look on where they would like to hit that ball. Well, everybody gets a 45 second time limit. If you go over 45 seconds, you lose your turn. So you want to kind of line up your thing. You want to make sure everybody's quiet. Nobody's in your line of vision. Get yourself a good setup and aim for that wicket.